What's up guys? It's Bree. I'm back with another video. Today I will be showing you guys what's in my hospital bag and I'll also be showing you what I have in Aiden's diaper bag. <laughs> Right now, I'm in Aiden's room. I will also be giving you guys a tour of his room or like a little video just showing you how I have his room decorated so far because I'm not completely finished. Until then, let's get started. Right here, I have a like an off-brand boppy pillow. Um, I ordered from Nursing Pillow. It's cute. It's a little yellow, so... I figure I take it to the hospital because I do plan to breastfeed, so I can use it when I'm nursing um, him and see how I like it. The next item I'm bringing is a comfortable pillow from home because I don't know how comfortable I'll be there or what the experience is going to be like. But if I can bring a pillow, because I know the hospital has really thin pillows, um, yeah, I'm just going to bring it just in case. The next item I am possibly bringing is just a little tote bag I have. I love just carrying this bag because I don't really carry purses. In case I want to put like my money, my phone, anything in there that I don't actually put in my bag. If I want some last minute items put in here, I can just drop them in here real quick before we leave for the hospital. And I'll have that ready. And I'm going to start with his diaper bag first before I do my maternity bag because he has less um necessities he needs because the hospital supplies most of his stuff so we have this cute cute book bag diaper bag that we got as a gift um i love it so much so in the front pocket i just have a few things i'm bringing a set of pacifiers even though i don't personally plan to use them at least not yet especially since i'm going to be nursing and then in the front pocket, we also have like some diaper rash cream, some um, baby toiletries, which I don't think we'll be using either, but it's good to have on hand. On the side of it, we have some wipes right here, but I just, I just went ahead and put them in there. I don't think we'll be using those there at the hospital either. And here, I have a grooming kit. So it has lots of grooming, um grooming tools in here we're bringing that with us for whatever reason i don't know maybe i want to brush his hair we don't have a brush on hand but i got a brush in the bag so we're also bringing some swaddle blankets um these are like specifically made for swaddling they're by Granimals. we're bringing two outfits um we're bringing a newborn outfit and also a three-month outfit and that's because when I last had my ultrasound, he was pretty big. Um, so we don't know how big he's going to be. I haven't had an ultrasound lately. Um, we don't know his weight. So we're bringing two pairs of outfits just in case he can't fit his newborn outfit. Or just in case he can, um, we wouldn't just have a three-month outfit. We also have a couple of bibs ready. If he eats like um, his father... And his mother, he don't need boots. And we also have this burping cloth, which is gorgeous. I love it so much. It says, your first breath took ours away. And we're going to keep this as a keepsake, but I'm still taking it to the hospital just in case we need to use it. It also comes with the bib as well. Here's our three-month outfit. We got this as a baby shower gift as well. It's like a little jumpsuit, and it has his name. <gasps> on there how precious is that and we have some socks and a cap to go with it as well as for the other outfit as well last but not least in his bag we have a blanket that i want to keepsake i want to use as a keepsake but i'll let i'll probably wrap him in it tons of times and it has his name on there which is aiden elijah brown it's so cute so that's it for his bag like i said it was pretty simple we um we didn't pack a lot for him because the hospital they supply clothes, diapers, wipes, all the necessities he needs as a newborn in the hospital. So we don't need a lot. And then say we leave something out, um, we can always run home and get it. We're only like 
less than 10 minutes away from the actual hospital so we don't need to pack our whole lives up so his bag was packed very neatly but my bag is just i just have stuff thrown in there because i didn't know what to bring for myself so toothbrush a uh, body wash a little cap for my toothbrush and some toothpaste and i thought it was would be a good investment to buy some wipes because once when you're in labor i don't think well of course you can't shower when you're in labor and i don't like to be dirty and i feel like being dirty on top of being in so much pain and not being able to move is just horrible so i at least brought some wipes that i can dispose of and i can just use to like wipe the ne necessary areas or wherever I'm, if i'm sweating whatever this is going to be out of order because i just like i said just have stuff thrown in here so bear with me please for clothing i didn't really know what to bring because i don't this is my first child so i don't know how it goes you know i don't know if i have to keep on my hospital gown the whole time i know um some videos i've watched ladies wear their regular clothes so I don't really know what the hospital policy is. I'm sure they'll let me put all my regular clothes. So I packed some just in case. Um, and what I have is some really stretchy pants that have like the a wider waistband. Which I, I've had these before I was pregnant. Um, but I love them because they're stretchy. They're soft. Um, they give me space to move around. And then I have a shirt. Mr. Titman. This is my husband's business. So, and he has, he gives me shirts. This is a dry fit shirt and it's loose. So, I'm going to be wearing that. The next thing I have in here is some pajamas. This is really a gown, but it's kind of short. So, I probably wear it as like the top piece, like a pajama set. And it's just a sleeper top. And I have my favorite pajama pants. They're just simple and black and fuzzy. Next thing I'll show you guys is this bra I bought. Okay, so my experience with finding maternity bras was horrible. Like, I'm not going to spend a ton of money on a maternity bra because I just don't want to. I don't see the need to honestly i plan to breastfeed but if it doesn't work i don't want to have spent tons of money on breastfeeding material and then it goes to waste so i tried to find um cheap maternity bras but um at walmart they either weren't my style weren't my size or they cost too much so i got creative and i just bought a sports bra that has the zipper down the middle and i figured when it's time to nurse i can just open it up i've already tried it on and worked out the kinks so that's pretty much what i'm gonna do for now and i only bought one just because you know like i said i don't know if breastfeeding is gonna work out for me if it does then i'll invest in more expensive bras or more of these and some other breastfeeding material that i need i need to get a folder but we have some documents. This is our birth plan with all our information on there and how we expect our birth to go, you know, how we can how we can coordinate with the hospital staff on making our birth as pleasant as possible for us. Next, I have some washable nursing pads. I just bought this just in case my breasts start leaking in the hospital, especially after I start nursing. They're they're reusable, so that's good. And it's only four of them in here. Like I said, I didn't buy a big pack of anything for breastfeeding because i don't know how it's gonna go i have undergarments in here as well tons of them bigger sized undergarments because having a baby is messy in your lady parts so i want to be prepared for that next i have some fuzzy socks which are my favorite and I will be wearing these in the hospital. I've already had these. Didn't have to go purchase any. So, so that's that. Next, I have a robe that I can wear on top of my clothes in the hospital. 
I doubt that I'll wear it, but a lot of ladies pack this, so I pack one too. Maybe I don't have any clothes on and I just want to walk to the restroom or something. And I need to cover up my goodies. Okay, next is some shower shoes. I didn't see many people pack this in their hospital bag, but I feel like if I'm going to be taking a shower at the hospital, I need some shower shoes. Yeah, so these are just cheap hair flip-flops I bought. We have an extra charger, so I went ahead and packed it in our bag because um, we use our chargers now, and I just don't want to get to the point where we're rushing out the door and we forget our chargers and our phones are about to die, and it's just a lot of chaos because I know lots of people will be calling and texting and Facebooking and Snapchatting us, and we don't want our phones going dead, so I went ahead and packed a charger in there. I have another... Um, sleepwear item this is an actual gown and I purchased this specifically for my hospital bag it says but first I need a nap love which is really cute I purchased a going home dress it's nothing fancy it's really just a sundress but it's black it's long um, I purchased that and I have some like flip-flops to go with it nothing special to go home in because I did want something that was a little presentable because I feel like our first day home a lot of people are going to be trying to visit or a lot of people may be up at the hospital that day and I want to look presentable but I didn't want something I didn't want to look too nice because you know when you try to look really nice that's when you end up not being comfortable so that dress is really comfortable the flip flops are fine too it gives me room and I can still nurse in it. So we're gonna try it out, see how it how it works leaving the hospital. And I packed everything in this little athletic bag because this is my travel bag anyways. I have an actual suitcase, but it's really big. I don't need a really big suitcase for the hospital. We don't have a bag for Josh, and that's because, like I said, we only stay about seven minutes from our hospital. We're not in a big city. We're in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Um, so our hospital is not far. He can literally, like, come home and grab his clothes or whatever. I also have a list. It's a little torn right now. I have a list of the stuff that I wanted to pack, so majority of it is already in the bag. But I have stuff circled that I want to just throw in the bag or bring or get Josh to bring when we do actually go into labor. So of course we're gonna bring our camera because we're gonna try to vlog the experience. I don't know how comfortable we are because we really haven't vlogged that much. So we probably won't be that comfortable vlogging our like labor and delivery experience. Not that we don't wanna show you, I just, I feel like I won't do a good job of vlogging it and neither will Josh. But we're going to try. So we're going to pack our camera and the charger to it. And of course our phones and our phone chargers. The only other things we'll be bringing is snacks. Because, you know, once you go into labor you can't eat. But, you know, my family can still eat. And I can eat as soon as I have him. So I'll, we'll be bringing lots of snacks. And our legal documents, of course, because... We'll be doing his birth certificate and we'll be having to show forms of ID and insurance and things like that. Um, I wear my house, my actual house shoes around the house. I'll probably end up going and going to the hospital in them. So, you know, I don't have those in the bag, but we do plan to bring those. Um, of course, bring money, but you bring money everywhere you go. And then other than that is some hair items. So I went ahead and did my hair. I don't really care for it. You can't really see what style it is, but it's some braids. I have it pinned up at the top. Um, so I won't really need hair items. And yeah, that's about it. We have, oh yeah, we have his car seat already in the car, um, ready to go. Okay, sorry you guys. I forgot to show you what else I'm going to be putting in my hospital bag. I made some pad stickles. Um... I have a friend who told me the recipe, which is basically lavender oil, um, witch hazel, and aloe vera gel. And she mixed up an overnight pass and freeze, I guess. So I made some of those, so I'll be throwing those in my hospital bag as well for postpartum 
healing, pain relief, and we're gonna see how those work too. We are so anxious to have him. I'm 38 weeks um, this week. I'll be 39 weeks on Sunday. And our induction date is the 15th of July, but my original due date was the 16th of July, so it's only one day earlier. But we are hoping and praying that he makes his arrival before then. So until then, thank you guys for watching. I hope you really enjoy what's in my hospital bag slash what's in Aiden's diaper bag. Okay, guys, my camera died, but I was just saying thank you guys for watching. We have so much more planned for you guys, so stay tuned. We're so excited to bring you on our parenthood journey with us. Please share this video, like, comment, and subscribe hit the subscribe button you don't have a youtube account i suggest you make one subscribe so you know when our videos come up turn your notifications on and again thank you for watching bye